a lot of despair, a lot of sadness, um, but also glimmers of hope and um, resilience. Mihaela Mitrofan is back from a humanitarian trip to Romania on the border with Ukraine. We first spoke to her while she was there in May. Now it's World Refugee Awareness Week and Michigan is getting ready to welcome Ukrainians fleeing the ravages of war, something Fatima knows too well. Our journey out of Afghanistan was very scary and we were not sure that we were going to be allowed to leave the country at that time. But she and her family got out, spending more than six months on military bases overseas and here in the U.S. before finally finding a home here in Southeast Michigan. We have learned to drive, we are using the library, and we are learning about how life works in Michigan. But refugees face barriers many may not even realize. Many don't speak English. They have no prior address or credit history to help with housing or a bank account or getting a job. But Samaritas and other organizations are working to resettle refugees and help them integrate into the community. And they're asking during this World Refugee Awareness Week that we learn more about how we can help. There's a huge level of need, lots of volunteering opportunities for everything from transportation to education with children, cultural orientation. Asking people to consider what these refugees have gone through and give them a new start in Southeast Michigan. So people who have often uh, have had to flee with little more than the clothes on their backs, leaving behind homes, possessions, jobs, and loved ones. They can be women, they can be children, they can be elderly, um, special needs. They are human humans, they are individuals who are here in need of protection, giving them hope and painting the picture that there is employment, there is uh, safety, there is a, a good school, good education for their children. So it is a second chance at life that uh, we are giving through, through this wonderful mission. To learn more, go to Samaritas.org. In Southfield, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.